Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Calm 70 Media and Communication Online. My name is Dr. Tara Franks, but you can just call me Tara, super normal, and I'm really excited to be teaching this class. I do have to say though, I am a big, big fan of the classroom, and I really, really miss the students at Sierra College. That said, I understand. These are the circumstances that we're in, and what a crazy time to be taking a class where we're going to be talking about media and society. Ugh, we have an election around the corner. There's breaking news basically every single day. Citizen journalism is commonplace. There's a lot to talk about, and believe me, this semester, we will. Now, I know this might not be what you hoped for, taking Com 70 online. And here's a secret, me either, if I haven't made that completely clear by now. But hey, here we are. So let's give this a go and do our absolute best together. Online education or distance learning is a funny thing. It provides the ease and flexibility of taking classes at home or wherever else you might be at a pace that's conducive to the demands of our everyday lives, which may be ever evolving and shifting, especially today. There are a few things though that I do know to be true. Distance learning or online education requires a great deal of self-discipline, prioritization, time management, and a firm commitment to participating in an online community in order to ex truly experience the benefits of this learning style. Online classrooms demand rigor and a high level of engagement on a regular basis of both you, the student, and me, of course, the instructor. Now, I hope I'm not scaring you away, but rather painting a very realistic picture of the expectations for this or really any online course. But given the proper time and dedication, there are tremendous benefits to online learning and that this classroom can provide, including enhanced time management skills, self-paced instruction, and digital literacy. Wait, I know I told you my name, but I didn't actually properly introduce myself. So before I say anything more, let me just remind you, my name is Tara. And I'm super excited to share that I am a Sierra College alum. I actually fell in love with communication studies at Sierra College, and selfishly, I hope you do too. I hope this class is your jam. If I was in person, I would do some sort of dance move right now. But really what I mean is that one class where you just get the material. It comes to life. You get the instructor, they get you, things make sense. But if not, that's cool too, right? I am also a partner, a mom of three exceptional children, and a business owner. In fact, my partner and I own a barbershop in Rockland. So yeah, my life is a little bit full. Um, but I think that all of that also contributes to my teaching approach, which is one that recognizes that we all, especially you too, have a busy lives outside of this class. After I went to Sierra College, I went to Sac State where I got my BA in Communication Studies. And from there, I went to San Diego State where I got my master's degree in Humor and Communication. Well, stand-up comedy, really. Uh, not doing it, just studying stand-up comedy. And finally, I went to Arizona State University where I earned my PhD studying communication, humor, and gender in the workplace. All of this just to say that I love to laugh and I really try not to take myself too seriously. So a few important things about this class just to keep in mind. This class is divided up into modules, each with assigned readings, digital lessons, much like this, which are organized by topic, featuring yours a truly, and additional resources um, embedded in the pages, which are really aimed to supplement the learning and help make it come to life. Be sure to familiarize yourself with Canvas in and out and click through each page on each module until you've completed the module. I do hope that you find the organization is clear because I spent about 2,000 hours organizing this class over the summer. Moving on. 
While this class is currently being offered asynchronously, I do have student office hours and I'm happy to meet online. Just check your syllabus for my student hours and don't be afraid to contact me for virtual Zoom appointments. Also, you might have noticed there's no textbook for purchase required for this class. Rather, we're going to use something called OERs or Open Education Resources. These are easily found and accessed online and free to you. So you might have an article one week or a TED Talk the next, a documentary the following week, and a worksheet to complete thereafter. Check the weekly readings and the calendar to make sure you remember what's being assigned. Now, just a little bit on my teaching approach. I am trained in and practice what um, many would call equity-minded pedagogy. And equity is not the same thing as equality, which is something I often like to explain. Imagine a pizza, if you will, and we're all sitting around this table with the big pizza in the center. Equality would be akin to saying every person seated at the table would get the same size or one piece of the pizza. But if I'm not hungry and the person to my left is super hungry, then shouldn't I just give my slice to them? Equity is giving everybody exactly what they need in order to succeed, even if the pieces of their pizza look different from the person sitting next to them. So you might notice there are lots and lots of student resources and additional help offered in this class, and that's because I believe that all students can absolutely succeed. When it comes to communication, because, well, it's my major, <laughs> just email or message me if something comes up. I'll also send out an announcement about the Remind app, which is an anonymous app service where we can text each other in real time but never see each other's phone number. Finally, about those resources. Here's a short list of them that you might find helpful. For example, our health center, women and gender resources, we have an honors program at Sierra College, a student success center, tutoring, a food pantry, pride center, and so many more. On our course canvas site, you will find a list of all the student resources that Sierra College has to offer this fall. With that, I want to thank you so much for enrolling in this course. I'm very excited to be teaching this class, especially now. I can't wait to meet you. Have a great semester.